growing up, it was, you know, we have a very tight Irish Catholic family and it was always about service, service others, help others service. So that's just part of my value system. I was working in the business field. One of my friends at the time, she was a teacher and she kept saying to me, I think you would make a great teacher. And so being in business, yeah, you make money. And then it got to a point where it's like, okay, I'm making money, but what next? At the end of this, what is it giving me, right? And then that's when one of my friends who kept saying, you'll be a teacher, be a teacher, then I thought, this is the way. This aligns with my values of giving to others, helping others. And then sure enough, here at North, they had an opening for a student teacher. And then they called me in for an interview and was like, would you want to student teach here? And I, I was like, yeah. And then this is where I've been now for 22 years. I'm looking out, making sure that they're ready to go when they graduate from high school because they're part of this community, this community that I live in, that many of us teachers live in, and we're so invested. It's the students, it's the teachers here, it's the community feel. This high school sits right in the community. I live within this community, right in the neighborhood. And I think that's something very unique about Downers Grove North, besides being the official scorekeeper for the girls game, Empowerment Club, and then the homecoming committee. A math teacher, Amanda McDonald and I have been doing that together for like 20 years. So that's everything from the parade to the assembly. 2019, it was, uh, I think, Two weeks before school started, I was diagnosed um, with ovarian cancer, and the students were overwhelmingly supportive. Uh, we had the boys' cross country team showed up, did all the raking of the leaves at our house. We had the choir come and perform in our front yard um, right before the Christmas season. I knew that I wanted to come back. Like, and then when I was able six months later to come back, bald head with a hat on, the students were so thrilled. The work to me is helping young adults see what they cannot see in themselves. That's how I look at it. Like I see things in you that you don't see yet. Once the kids know you care, that's when learning begins.